Okay, today on the bench, we do not have a radio. Don't pay any attention to that. Uh, President sent in a radio to do a review on. Um, now, I'm going to stick this on a vehicle and give it a try, because as you can see, this is meant to be like a mirror, mirror mount antenna, so it does not come with a base. Um, I will be testing this on a, a car with a mag mount uh, base uh, that accepts, accepts the normal 3 8 what is that, 3 8 24 stud mount. Um, this is a President uh, Mississippi, USA. So, there's, uh, get here to the top of the package. Um, <laughs> I first saw this thing when I unpacked it. I was like, what is, what are, it's like, what is that and that and that? And it finally dawned on me that that's just to prevent the cardboard from curling up. Kind of make, kind of an ingenious idea. Um, but President Antennas, they come with a 10-year warranty. Uh, one thing to remember is if you buy a President radio and you buy an antenna, so something like this, at the same time, that extends the warranty on your radio by an additional three years. So your two-year warranty, if you buy an antenna at the same time, gets extended to five years. <laughs> Can't beat that warranty. It's almost worth it to buy an antenna. Um, so... This one's, uh, now I did a, a review video on another antenna for President, and that was the uh, President, was it New York or New Yorker? I can't remember which one it is. Either it's a New York or New Yorker. That was a little small, tiny mag mount antenna. You know, I've been using that thing, and actually, it surprisingly work, works surprisingly well um, for its size. Now, some people have said, oh, well, that thing, I've got antennas that are going to outperform that. I bet you do. This antenna will outperform that. No doubt in my mind whatsoever. It's just physics. It's only this tall. I mean, good Lord, it's, you know, it's like the length of my forearm here. I mean, it's a little short, stubby antenna. But for what it is, it works surprisingly well. I could talk sideband for, I don't know, 10 to 13 miles. I had a, a good good contact one day driving down the road going to pick up bird seed. I mean, actually, it might even been a little bit longer than that by the time I got back towards home. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they, they work really well for what they are. As long as you understand that, that little antenna is not going to have the performance of a long antenna. So, here's a long antenna. Um, so, let's take a look at the specs on this. They do have the little spec sheet sticker on the back of this. So... Uh, this is a quarter wave, 50 ohm, obviously. Uh, frequency range, you know, 26, 28 megahertz, vertical, you know, adjustable SWR. So, yes, it is is adjustable. Even comes with way up here, Allen wrench. So, you know, to move move it up and down. Um, uh, what do we have? 100 watts peak, uh, bandwidth, 1,200 hertz, or 1,200 kilohertz, or you know, 1.2 megahertz, which would be 120 channels. So that's that's pretty good. Um, and we'll see what the, on CV channels, like from channel 1 to 40, uh, the car I'm going to put this on, I have a President McKinley in. So we can take a look at the SWRs, because that has the automatic SWR function, which is really nice. But we can uh, give it a try and see what the SWRs, you know, if we tune this antenna on channel like 19 or 20, See if the SWRs are you know stay pretty flat at least from channel one to forty. Um, the whip is stainless steel AC4, so yeah, thirty channels of variation adjustment in height here. So you can see they have for you know adjusting. Um, so yeah, adjustable base there. And something I thought was kind of interesting, and I'm going to see here in a second. It's got a pivot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that at first, but when I pulled this thing back out to do this video, I was like, wait a minute, what is that? I was like, holy smokes, it's got a, it looks like a swivel. So, let me get this thing busted out of the adult-proof packaging. Yeah, it's not child-proof, they make this stuff adult-proof. <laughs> that ought to be enough. I hate shrink wrap. <laughs> I really do. So yeah, this one, I don't know, it, I, you know, I'm probably, I was going to say, I might leave this on the car, but nah, I've, I've, I've really, I just really like that President New York antenna. That thing is, it is the cat's meow for a low profile uh, antenna. I mean, you just can't beat how small that thing is. And inconspicuous. I mean, you look at that antenna, oh, let me just unscrew this off of here. 
Jesus, I'm gonna say how long? Oh my God, what did I just do here? I say how much stuff's gonna fall off? It's gonna take me three years to get all this blasted plastic off of this thing. <laughs> I hate packaging. <laughs> Why must we make stuff impossible to get to? <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. We're getting somewhere here. Jesus. I'm going to stop the video camera here in a second. Plan on making this blasted video three hours long while I unwrap plastic. Let me just stop the camera for a second. Okay, three hours, 45 minutes, and 12 stitches later, I got it free. No, it didn't take that long. <laughs> it just, Jesus, man. You would think this thing was, the packaging was meant to contain some biological hazard or anthrax or something. <laughs> um, so anyhow, here you go. Uh, fairly heavy, the base here, man. It's got, I mean, if you unscrew this top here, you know, take the whip section off. This has got a lot of weight to it, man. It's it's hefty. And yes, like I say, it does have this interesting little swivel. It's screwed back on there nice and tight. Um, so, nice heavy coil here. Now, like I say, the rating on the packaging says 100 watts. I'm just looking at that coil. I, that coil can handle over 100 watts. Now, I'm sure, you know, like anything, they've got a safety margin there because they don't, you know... <laughs> protect their items so but uh yeah i'd say this thing could probably easily safely handle over 100 watts just looking at the the uh, gauge of the wire used in the the coil there it says the bottom loaded antenna um now i'm not sure what this little ufo is supposed to do here in the middle i'm sure it has a has a purpose you know it's got a coil midway up um nice nice rigid uh antenna element Nice little tip that looks like that's on there to stay. That thing's not coming off anytime soon. Um, adjustable, yes, for SWR. So just loosen the set screw with the uh, supplied uh, Allen wrench and then move your antenna up and down. Um, now, actually, I like that. I wasn't sure. I think some people will see this, this here and think, oh, I can mount my antenna like that. No, you can't. Well, you can, but uh, you're not going to have very good performance because you're going to be talking to the birds or the ground. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I occasionally see trucks going down the road. You know, they'll have dual co-phased antennas on their mirrors, and they have their antennas leaning forward like this. So I guess I guess they're supposed to look like bullhorns. I don't know. It looks stupid. But you'll also occasionally hear those people say, I can't get out to anybody. Well, yeah, that's because you're talking to the ground in front of you and aircraft behind you. <laughs> you need to keep your antenna straight up and down. Don't tilt the thing. <laughs> There's not a lot of power coming off the tip of this thing. As you start to tilt this, your power your power output is, is being tilted with it. Now, to the side, you would still be fine, but from front to back, yeah, your power is going to change with the angle of the antenna. Uh, but still, that is handy for a truck driver. If you've got these mounted to your mirrors, so you know you got your Kenworth or Peterbilt or whatever you happen to drive, your Mac. You shoot, you can even have an old, you know, twin stick dual uh, Mac with dual windows in the back. Um, but you know, a big problem you'll see with truck drivers is you have, especially now, usually not tractor trailers, but service type trucks or trucks that are doing delivery, so fuel trucks or you know even concrete trucks those kind of things, you'll frequently see them with bent up antennas. Reason is, they hit a tree branch. They had to pull into somebody's driveway. Um, this is actually nice. If you know you're going to be going back a driveway or something where there's going to be, your antennas are, go are going to hit something, you can just roll your window down, tilt your antenna back. Go do what you got to do before you leave. You know, get to the end of the driveway, tilt your antenna back up. That's actually a nice idea. I don't know how... Actually, they might even work as just a breakaway. Kind of like breakaway car mirrors. I mean, you, I'm just, you know, leaning on this thing here. You know, one finger. So, you know, not a lot, not a lot of force. But, you know, so that actually might work just as a breakaway feature almost. You know, so if you do hit something, it'll just automatically, you know, get pushed back instead of snapping off. 
So, yeah, I kind of like that. So let me uh, take this thing out. Like I say, I got a mag mount, uh, I think it's like a 5-inch magnetic mount base. Take accepts the uh, 3 8 24 thread pitch. Um, we'll get this stuck on the roof. Um, and actually, you'll be able to see this, because this that's the car that has the uh, President New Yorker antenna on it. So you'll be able to see how much taller this thing is in comparison to that. Um, and we'll turn it on and see. Uh, actually, I guess I could... We could even do a comparison between the two. Um, if there's any, you know, any talking, if there's any skip rolling in, um, you know, I could hook up both the antennas, maybe through an antenna switch, or just, you know, unscrew the coax cable and just hook up from one to the other. But, like I say, this one, I can guarantee you, is going to operate a lot better than that little small one. But I am thoroughly pleased with the operation of that little small one, and I think for cars, that New Yorker is the cat's meow. Um... Now, I've actually talked to a few people that actually have these already um, on trucks. So, you know, commercial truck drivers. Um, and they said they like them, say they work really well. Uh, so, you know, we'll stick it on a car so it's not going to be as high up in the air either as, you know, a truck driver has them mounted up on mirrors. But uh, actually, a car is probably better um, because your ground plane, if you mount this in the center of the roof, you're going to have a fairly good even ground plane because your vehicle is the ground plane where... When you mount out on a mirror, yeah, it's kind of your mirror bracket into your door, and it's a kind of a lopsided ground plane. But yeah, car roofs are actually really good for mounting antennas, especially if you mount them dead center or in the, you know, your hood or your trunk lid. Uh, it gives you a nice big flat ground plane. But let me take this out, get it hooked up, and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. And yeah, it's nice and flexible, so yeah, I, I think this is a nice antenna. And this actually, this section here is kind of, I'm just noticing, is kind of... It's not hard plastic. Um, I'd say it's actually probably... Eh, no, that's rubber. This is... Eh, it might be plasticky. This is hard plastic. This is hard plastic. This is almost a rubbery plastic, and as you can see, is very flexible. So, that actually gives it even a little bit more, you know, protection for if you hit something. You can see as I bend that, you know, that bends, and then the, you know, it starts to... To pivot down so let me take this out and get her hooked up and see how she works okay so there i've got it mounted to the roof of the car here and uh the antenna i had done a, a video on before the uh president new yorker antennas there i actually like that little thing like i say some people ah oh, it's so short i don't know performance well honestly for an antenna that size it works surprisingly well but uh, you can see this one's definitely taller. I mean, it's not an extremely long antenna. So, you know, if you're looking for a, you know, something longer than that, but not too excessively long, that looks like it'd be a pretty nice one. Uh, like I say, that kind of, I guess you'd almost call it a breakaway feature. Um, would be nice for truck drivers, because, of course, you've got them mounted to your, the hoops, your, your mirror hoops on your doors. Your antennas are up there in the air. And if you're getting in where there's a lot of tree branches, especially if you're like a delivery driver, uh, that might be really nice, because... You can just roll your window down and fold your antenna down. But, uh, of course, I've got it mounted to a magnetic mount. And uh, you can take a listen to it. And it was hooked up to a stock factory. Well, actually, it's not stock anymore, uh, but a President McKinley. The um, only thing that's been done to this radio is the clarifier has been unlocked. Other than that, uh, output power and everything is... As it should be. Yes, I've got my <laughs> I've got my old antique uh, hump mount here. I love these things. That's why one of the reasons I do keep uh, rags over top of it. God forbid you ever spill any liquids. That way it doesn't fall down into the speaker. But. Uh, Looks like the skip's coming in. There's Florida. Yeah, it 
looks like Florida's coming in pretty good today. Hey, Maryland, how you doing this afternoon? Boy, a nice signal coming down to Florida. Yeah, yeah, it has been, uh, it's been quite, the, quite the journey, but uh, we're back on the air. CQDX, CQDX, Fairfield, Pennsylvania, calling CQDX. Thank you, 856. It truly is a pleasure to be able to speak again. <laughs> I'm not sitting in exactly the most ideal position right now. I've got a garage behind me, a big metal garage right off to the right of me. <laughs> so I'm surrounded by sheet metal on two sides. CQDX, CQDX, Fairfield, Pennsylvania, calling CQ. Central Buckeye, you don't have to try anymore. You're making it to South Florida. Hello. West Virginia, I tell you what, you're walking all over, man. They all in my receipt, but you're the top dog, no doubt. Now, like I say, this is a bare, barefoot radio. <laughs> all righty, about 45 miles north of President Trump's Mar-a-Lago, right here on the ocean with the big old afternoon Florida waves. Catch you out here on the coax. There's somebody in a mobile in Gettysburg, which I'm just not too far outside of Gettysburg. Oh, or he said New Oxford. Well, let's see if I can get him. Well, actually, while we have a conversation going here between two people with fairly low signal strength, I want to switch over to that President New York antenna and see what the signal strength difference is. Trying to do this with one hand. Well, oh. oh, come on, get on there. Okay, so that's a little that little President New York antenna. Yeah. I'd say compare just listening to the other guy, the second guy there, he's about because that was the weaker station. He sounded about the same. Ah no. Now that I switch over I can hear. There is a difference. Uh, sounds like there's a, <laughs> there's a bleeder. Let's turn the squelch off, the automatic squelch. Jesus, how many channels is that guy bleeding? <laughs> That's one thing I always find so hilarious. These people have these junk radios running these extremely huge amplifiers. 30, somewhere between 30 to 80 percent of their power is not even on channel. It's all in the adjacent channels. I mean, if I you know, hooked up a spectrum analyzer and just stuck an, an antenna out the window right now, I'd be able to probably read that guy's second, third, fourth, and fifth harmonics. I mean, most of their power is not on channel. That's what I always say. These people with these splatterbox radios 
looks great on a watt meter, sounds like hell on air. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> channel 6 will remain a mystery to me for my entire life. I will never understand Channel 6. Or for that matter, 11 either. Channel 11's. Yeah, the same thing. They just blah, 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 all day long. They, they never say anything. Then <laughs> apparently Channel 15. <laughs> It's the bye, 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 bye crowd. <laughs> oh, that mess. I'll tell you what, we, we heard you there for sure. There, we ain't gonna wait on you. That's for sure. Is that Motor Mouth Mall? Eight times in one kiss over there. I think that might have been Motor Mouth Mall. <laughs> wait till he keys up again. Probably the only person that I can recognize by voice on air, you know, other than a local. Yeah, I think that's Motor Mouth Mall. And when skip conditions are good, Motor Mouth Mall hits me with like a plus 60 dB signal. <laughs> Even on a mobile antenna. Sure, four, five, four, six, oh. I don't know if that's him or not. Jesus, there is somebody bleeding. I can hear somebody in the background. Just trying to see if it's Trying to see if it's the guy on channel six bleeding on all forty channels. <laughs> idiot is bleeding over all 40 channels and we're on channel 6 so that means he's going the whole way up to 40 and he has to be bleeding at least that much in the opposite direction oh my god <laughs> if that guy's putting out 10,000 watts he's probably only got about 500 on channel <laughs> If if that, if he's doing 10,000 watts, if he had a 10,000 watt amplifier, he's probably putting 500 on channel or less. All the rest of it's all over the RF spectrum. That's just, that's just ridiculous. I mean, the FCC just needs to crack down on idiots like that. I mean, my God. CQ, CQ, Fairfield, Pennsylvania, calling CQ. I didn't know if it was still the locals on 37 there. I guess they're off now. <laughs> So, 
in any case, I'd say that does have a little bit better receive than the uh, President New Yorker, which I would expect. It's a taller antenna. It's you know just physically more antenna sticking out of the roof here to uh, to pick up signals. But yeah, like I said, a little President New Yorker. I'm just I have been impressed with that little thing for what it is, and that's what people seem to forget. For what it is, a very very compact antenna. It works really well in my opinion. If you want something better, well, the one that this video is about is probably a better, you know, antenna for you. So, I like this thing. And yeah, just the way I've got it plopped here, I just temporarily stuck it on the roof. But yeah, you can see there with the little ball mount. Like I said, I can just reach over with my hand really easily, bend that thing over. So yeah, if you're a truck driver, um, my suggestion would be if you have one of these antennas like this, when you install it, make sure when you tighten, you probably want to leave your the, the stud mount loose on your bracket. Install the antenna, you know, onto the the mount part and then tighten up your the the nut on the bottom for the stud itself and make sure that when your antenna you can fold it backwards uh, that way if you do hit a tree branch you know it'll knock the antenna back just roll your window down and you can fold it back up i, I like i say i kind of like that that's a that's kind of a nice little feature i'm not sure exactly what the ufo is for um <laughs> i really don't know um, and this thing is nice and flexible that rubber section in the middle i think that is more rubber the main the main connection here the most of the springiness is actually in this coil right here but yeah it does have a oh, it's kind of hard trying to reach here into the middle but yeah you can see it's nice and springy so yeah just that alone actually gives you a lot of flex i mean you can see how shoot i can bend this thing back 90 degrees and it blink straight back up no damage and like I say, if you get this in the right, if you get the little, the pivot in the right direction, then the entire antenna, you can just fold it back. Or, you know, if you hit something hard enough, it could actually fold it back and then you can just push it back up. So, there you go. Here's a review on that antenna. Um, now I can take that off of this vehicle because that's, I'm just going to leave this little President New Yorker. Like I say, I really like that little guy. It's just impressive results for something so small. <laughs> and again, even this one has the, you know, you can tilt this one. Um... But yeah, I like that little antenna, and that's usually the angle I leave it at right there. Looks looks pretty good. It's straight for the base, and it's on the back taper of the roof here. But uh, there you go, President Mississippi antenna.